Welcome to Kentucky Collectibles. Thank you, happy to be here. Why don't you tell me what you have? Um, this is a trophy that was won by Marion Miley, and Marion was a champion golfer from Kentucky uh, in the 1930s. Uh, she was world renowned. Um, I've heard a lot of uh, uh, her reputation is really amazing. Um, I first learned about her when I was a teenager. Uh, I was playing golf and I was invited to play in the Marion Miley Invitational at Lexington Country Club when I was um, 14 years old and um, played a couple of years learning to play. And then when I was 16, I won the tournament and I was so excited because. Um, her reputation, uh, I was just very proud to win that tournament. She was a bit of a prodigy, is that right? I think so. Um, I've, I've read a little bit of the history and I played on the uh, ladies professional golf tour and, and in the 30s there was no professional golf for women and so Marion Miley was one of the key players that really kind of started the precursor of what's now the LPGA Tour. So this trophy then is um, was awarded to Marion Miley in 1931. Right. And tragically, she has sort of, there's a tragic end to her story. Yes. Um, the story goes um, that Marion Miley's uh, father was a club pro and her mother was the club manager at Lexington Country Club. They lived in the apartment ab above the clubhouse. And the story I've got, um, I actually talked to someone that was at Lexington Country Club playing in a member guest the night that she was, was murdered. Um, they had had a member guest and I think there were three men that came in and they assumed that there was a lot of money on site. She came home, uh, interrupted a robbery, actually tried to fight them off. Oh wow. And they, they killed her and then they actually uh, wounded her mother and I think she died as well. What a terrible end to it, the it was story. Terrible. It's remarkable that it's ended up in your hands though yes. because uh, you share so many similarities with her. I love that. Yes. And when we're valuing something like this as an appraiser, the first thing we go to with a silver object is the silver market. Mm -hmm. A lot of times when I'm appraising things for people, they'll be a little saddened by that because they say, well, who would melt this down? Well, hopefully no one would, right? This right. is a historically significant object that it, it belonged to someone incredibly important in the sports world, incredibly important to our history. Uh, but at the end of the day, if, if we had to value it based on something, we'd start with the silver value. And silver markets go up and down. Today, I checked, it's, ho it's hovering around $19 an ounce today. And I would estimate it probably weighs around 20 ounces or so. So if we looked at it purely from the melt value of the silver, this is going to have a value in the $400 range. But the fact is, as we know, it not only is beautiful and beautifully constructed and stylish, I mean, that's really kind of a timeless style in great condition. Mm -hmm. It's dated 1931, and if you think about how old that is and no dents, no real damage to the um, body of it at all, then that starts to elevate the value. And then the fact that it was awarded to Marion Miley starts to elevate the value. And so what would you think if I told you, I think that at auction, it would conservatively be in maybe the two to $4,000 range. Oh, that's great. Yes, that's, that's neat. 